and taught around the Sea of Galilee. If the crowds got too big uh, or they pressed in too close, he'd just get in a boat, have his disciples roll him out into the water, and it, it created a natural auditorium because the water would carry his voice and the people would gather along the shore. But have you ever wondered why he spoke in parables, these riddle-filled stories? I mean, if God came all the way from heaven to speak to man, doesn't it seem like he would just tell us what's on his mind, just say it like it is? Well, today, in The Purpose of Parables, we will look at Jesus' answer to that very question because his disciples asked it. Let's read from Matthew chapter 13, starting at verse 1. Uh, that same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it while all the people stood on the shore. And then he told them many things in parables. The disciples came to him and asked, Why do you speak to the people in parables? And he replied, The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. Whoever has will be given more, and he will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing they do not see, though hearing they do not hear or understand, in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. You will be ever hearing but never understanding. You will be ever seeing but never perceiving. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts and turn and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. For I tell you the truth, many prophets and righteous men longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because...